Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. This Friday's video I purchased some new makeup. This is only the third time I think I've gotten new makeup this year. Um, I like to use things that I have in my collection and if you like videos like this and some of my other content I would love if you subscribe and do the other YouTube things. So the couple of makeup items I bought this year before I get into my new purchase. I bought um, one of the um, pre-made little lipstick things that Kaleidos does and I bought that's on my desk so I can grab that but my other thing is the in the dark palette from um, unearthly cosmetics I bought that as well this year and then my newest purchase is from lethal cosmetics I made a large palette um, and this is what it looks like on the inside so some greens some pinky mauvey shades some purples and then just a lot of shimmer shades so the greens and like the mauvey pinky shades and the purples these are just matte shades that i don't have in my collection yet i have a lot of the lethal cosmetic shadows and then the shimmer shades um these are ones I don't have in my collection, and obviously none of them are, but these six on the bottom are their new ultra metal, like metallic shades that they just came out with, and I really loved them and just wanted to get them. I haven't made a purchase from Lethal in a while, and I love their eyeshadows, and so I was like, well, if I'm going to get those, I might as well, you know, like get some other shadows that I don't have and that I've been wanting to add to my collection, so I added some more like grungy greens and then... You know just some fun stuff so before we use these on the eye today i'm going to do swatches i think i'm going to swatch just the matte shades first and then we'll take those off and then swatch the metallic shades just because there are 24 shades and i don't know that'll be a pretty tight squeeze on my arm i could try to i might try to swatch all of them in one go let's just say we're going to do that and then if i have to mess around that's what we'll do so we'll swatch um i do not have my computer in here right now to look at the names of the shades and the order that i have them in so i'm just going to swatch them and i will list in the description box all of the shade names in order of the way i swatched them and how i will be swatching is from like the top over like that so that's how the shade names will be listed in the description box as well just because they're too hard to like pop out of here after each one and try to look at the name and too much work also my hair is different i did a chop i like the chop i i go like this every couple years where i'll chop my hair and keep it short for a while and i think i'm going to be keeping it short for a while it's just it's just nice and convenient and easy and I also colored it so this is like a coppery red color this is just a demi dye just to kind of see if I liked it and everything and I do like it um, so I'll probably end up having it like permanently colored here um, once this washes off which one to three months or something like that so anyways let's just start swatching so the first one is that really um, the light bright green shade So go here I haven't swatched any of these. I'm also not the best swatcher and it's also hard to swatch like you know at this angle and be able to actually see what you're doing. So there's that really pretty like green shade. It's so cute. I do not have a green that shade so I'm excited to have that. Next is like this murky kind of like taupe shade so that's what that looks like it's always hard to get the camera to focus too oh there it goes so there's the green and then that taupey shade like a gray beige taupe shade next is a very like a deep olive green Again, I'm not saying the shade names because I'm going to list them below because I don't have access at the moment to the shade names. So there's that olivey green color. That one's really pretty. Next is kind of like a greenish brown, 
a little bit of like, yeah, that green yellowy type base. what that looks like so it's got it's a kind of like grungy brown but it has that green yellow base to it and then the last mat in this row is a really deep like emerald looking green oh like right on top of that one my bad so there's that shade, which I think, I mean, it's got some nice depth to it in that just first little swatch, but I think it definitely, if I can get it to focus a little bit more, there we go. It will definitely have more depth to it if you build it up. That was just a one dip in swipe situation. Let me build it up a little bit more, but yeah, that's like a got some blue in it that base that emeraldy green and then the shimmer I don't know I don't really want to do the shimmers yet because well we'll just do however many rows we can get and then if we have to take it off that's what we'll do the shimmer I have in this row is a really pretty olive green oh yes stunning it's like focus never get the camera to focus as quickly as you want but yeah there's that like olive green shimmer so that's the first row of the greens I have this bright green that is more of these grungy green base or has green hints to it and then you have this like emeraldy green and then the olive so they don't all necessarily go together but I think they're pretty together and of course I have a ton of other Lethal Cosmetics shades, so I can mix and match these based, green based shades with some of my other greens that I have in my collection. I can, let me just pull it up. I have videos um, of all the Lethal Cosmetics palettes I've made swatching them so you guys can go back and see, but like some of my other greens I have in this collection. So in this palette, I have these more, um, these types of greens, which these are more kind of like foresty type greens. And then I have, where is that? In this palette, I have some grungy greens as well. These are more of that like pukey, like olivey green colors. So that's the, and then I have this like, this is like a greeny blue shade. So not as dark as this one. So a lot of these will mix really well with these other greens that I have. So anyways, this swatching is taking forever, which I knew it would. Um, I might just take these off and swatch the next row. I think that will be easiest. So wipe these off. Dry my arm off a bit. Okay, next is like the pink mauve row. So again, the first shadow in the row is more of a bright color and the rest of the row is more like dingy and grungy. So we have this brighter pink, which hopefully my arm is dry. If they swatch kind of funky, it is not the shadows, it's my arm because I just cleaned other shadow off. So I have this really pretty bright, pink color that's really pretty <laughs> haven't swatched them yet um, and then we have this peachy pink which <laughs> is close to my skin tone so you can't see it very well build it up a little bit more so there's that peachy pink which again is kind of close to my skin tone so it's hard to see the next is more of a purpley, uh, like a gray purple. And then we have 
a more deep mauve pink color next this row is a little bit more cohesive than the first row like you could definitely do a look mixing these together i think you can do a look mixing in the first row together too you just have to be a little bit more i don't know creative and then the next shade is a deeper purpley pink it kind of reminds me as if you like mixed these two shades together this purple and this pink and then also deepened it that's what it kind of looks like on the pan is a deeper pink so that's that row and then the last shade in the row is a shimmer which this is a really pretty like ocean blue shimmer which I think is kind of a fun contrast with these pink shades so that's the second row you cannot hardly see this shade hilarious okay so that's the second row two more rows left and then the third row here has three mattes and three shimmers and then the last row is all shimmer so a little different layout for the next two rows compared to the first but i'm liking all the shades so far they at least swatching wise are performing like lethal normally performs which is just really nice smooth super pigmented buildable feeling they don't feel like dry or chunky or anything like that okay third row this is like a bluey purple shade which is really pretty there it goes a fun like blue purple something that I have that might be kind of similar but it's definitely doesn't have quite that depth to it and that amount of blue is in this palette I have this bluey purple which is definitely a lighter a lighter version it's definitely doesn't have the depth to it that this one does so those would mix well together and then these two are more lilac in color okay next shade is more of a bright like true purple Oh yeah, you can really see the blue in this one next to that more true purple shade. Which this one almost even looks pink compared to this one, so you can really see the difference in tones. Then the next one is more of a gray purple blue. Oh, and definitely looks like a gray blue, especially next to this more true purple. Um, but those are all really pretty. And then for shimmers, we have this next one is more of like a gold, yellow, a bright yellow gold situation, which I think some of these, these next three shimmers, I think they're supposed to be like duochrome type shades. I think this one's maybe supposed to have some type of like green flip maybe. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> I can't remember. And then the next shimmer is more of this um this shimmer has like a purple pink reflect i can see it um on my finger i don't know how it will show up on the arm but this is more of a like light um sea foam green and then it does have like a pink purple shift to it i don't know if i can get it to come through on the camera i think you can see it a little bit but there's that one and then the last one I think this is supposed to be kind of like a teal to green to purple I can see a deeper purple shift in it on my finger Ouch. this is like a teal and I believe it does have like a deeper purple shift and some green in it too so that's the three shimmers 
Don't know how well you can get the shifts on the camera, but that's that row. Some fun, unique purples for sure. I definitely don't have some purples with those tones and such things. And then this last row is their new, um, their six new like ultra metal metallic shimmers. So we will swatch those. And I might make this its own video and then my next video will be doing a look because this is already 15 minutes right now. I'm still swatching. So I'll make this a swatch video. And then next week's Friday video, I will have a look, which I'll probably film it right after this. So I'm going to still be in the same clothes and have the same hair. Um, so yeah, this will be the swatch video and then next week's will be an actual look. Okay, last row, which is the new ultra metallic shimmers Ooh. okay so we have this first one which is like a gold but it has it definitely seems to have a little bit of like a green tone to it oh it's so shiny and metallic i love it i love a super shiny shimmer the next one is a pink shade Ooh, oh wow, these are gorgeous. I cannot wait to use these. Okay, so there's the pink. These are so reflective. This next one is like a purpley silver shade. Wow, those are stunning. Next is the rose gold that they did. Oh my gosh, these are so sparkly. I can't like stop staring at them. Okay, the next is more of a white, yellow, silver. I think that's the silver. Yeah, that's more of a light silver shade. And then the last one is the Holo. Wow, that one is really soft. These do feel these like ultra metallic, this formula. This does feel much softer than their other shimmer shades. Like the other shimmers, you know, are soft, but these definitely feel like a softer formula. Probably to get that ultra shine, they have to be a little bit more fragile, um, especially that holo shade, which I didn't show yet. And there's a ton of color in that. There's just like a rainbow of color in that one with a like a silvery base. Um, but these are definitely softer, but especially the holo shade. That is very soft. Let me put on my finger. So yeah, I can see like purple and blue and green and it's in like a silver base. Here's it on the finger. I don't know how well you can. any shifts or anything but yeah that's really pretty definitely can see in person especially like the blue and green in it um and it kind of just makes a mess even when you try to wipe it off with makeup remover <laughs> I don't know if you can see it all over my hand, but it's everywhere. Um, but yeah, those are the six new shades. Those are stunningly beautiful. My goodness. I have one silver metallic that I'm going to swatch above this one to compare it to the new formula. So these are obviously the new like ultra metallic, which this one is not an ultra metallic, but it is a shimmer shade that they have. I don't think it's going to be near as sparkly and reflective. So it looks, it doesn't even look like a metallic um, compared to what I just swatched with these. So there is the silver metallic that I have from them. And there's the new one below it. Like you can see these, the new ones are way more shiny and reflective. If I can get the camera to focus way more shiny and reflective than their traditional shimmer formula. 
I don't know what, what this. I'll pop out this shade to look at the name, but I think it's, I can't think. But anyway, so you can see the new formula is way more shimmery and metallic. I will pop this out just so you guys know the name of it. I think I know what it is, but Rocket Fuel. So that was Rocket Fuel, which is a shimmer, a silver shimmer from them. So that was Rocket Fuel. Let me see if I have any other shimmers that I feel like are similar in tone to compare it, but I don't think I have anything that is supposed to be similar. No, it doesn't look like it. So yeah, those are, well, I have this one that's a rose gold as well. That's in this palette that I have. I'll swatch that above the rose gold here, just so you guys can have comparisons. But like I said, these new ultra metal shades are way more intensely sparkly. So there's the other kind of rose gold type shade that I have. Still very beautiful um, and shiny, but when you look at them compared to the new ultra metallics, they don't look like there's any shimmer in them. They almost look like satins. But on their own, when you're, they're not next to these, um, they're very beautiful. I'm gonna look at what that one was called. Acolyte was that other rose gold type shade that I have. Um, okay, so that was all of the, these are so stunning, I can't stop staring at them. <laughs> that was all of the new shades that I purchased from Lethal Cosmetics. I hope you guys like the swatches and I will be uploading a look with the new shades next week. Thanks.